while Robert Reed was playing the perfect dad on TV, he was acting out a tragic masquerade in real life. He was a loner, a uh, very quiet, reserved gentleman. He would have came to us. He would have helped him 100%. Now it can be told his deadly secret, the double life of Mike Brady. Welcome, everybody. I'm Geraldo Rivera, along with that heartbreaking epitaph. We also have these stories coming up for you today. Mike, oh, I never met you with another sergeant before. <laughs> these days, this lady killer is lethal. No, I'm chaos, and he's mayhem. But way back when, and way down under, Mel Gibson was deadly. Mel Flower is the beach for me. We found Mel's lost first movie. Look, I don't think I can go in. And if you think this is bad, just wait till you see his first screen kiss. I thought she seemed like the faithful kind. Now it can be told, bad match. This beautiful young woman was murdered. When she didn't show up for work, there was something wrong. This man confessed to killing Julie Everson. But then this man confessed too. We were very shocked. Both men are free and safe from prosecution. I'd like to kill him. That's what I want to do. I don't want to say anything to him. Now it can be told, double jeopardy. All that's later, we're up front today, the death of Robert Reed, beloved patriarch of TV's Brady Bunch. Reed was a Shakespearean-trained actor who called the popular TV series inconsequential, and he referred to the show as a babysitter. But just as there were two conflicting sides to his professional career, there was an even greater discrepancy between Reed's on-air image and his off-screen real life. Here with that story is Craig Rivera. Craig? As you're about to see, Robert Reed was caught up in the same kind of dilemma as Rock Hudson, an actor who knew that if the truth about his life were known, he'd be out of work. And just as in the case of Rock Hudson, Reed might have carried his secret to the grave were it not for the tragic way that he died. It's a story of a man named Brady. The real-life man named Brady was Robert Reed, who played the handsome father of one of America's most beloved TV families. Hello. Oh, hold on a second, Mr. Phillips. Mike just walked in. Honey, it's Mr. Phillips. He has a problem about Friday night. Okay. Reed was also an accomplished dramatic actor who had featured roles in the 60s legal melodrama The Defenders and in the groundbreaking miniseries Roots. Well, we're living in strange times, Bill. We're at war. We're fighting the British. I heard about that. Nearly two years. Longer than anyone expected, now the British are offering freedom to any slave who will join their army and fight for them. But Reed was best known as the all-American dad of that perfect family, the Brady Bunch. When Reed passed away last week after 30 years in show business, he left a life far less perfect than his TV counterpart, a life he was forced to lead because he was gay. And now it can be told on his death certificate, obtained exclusively by now it can be told, the causes of his death are colon cancer, and HIV, the deadly virus that causes AIDS. I last saw Robert Reed about six months ago up in his home. Uh, he greeted me with a nice smile. Uh, I wasn't aware that he was ill. Hollywood, a town built on dreams and fantasy, has traditionally turned its back on the simple reality that some actors are gay. Because of his career and uh, this, despite his sexual preference, uh, I believe it's very hard for him to acknowledge that he was gay. Though many of Hollywood's most talented actors are gay, most never disclose their sexual preference for fear it would hurt their careers. I don't think that the uh, people out in the boondocks would buy uh, a macho leading man and know that he's gay. Because of his secret, Reed was allegedly forced into a dangerous double life of cruising Santa Monica Boulevard for young male pickups and frequenting gay bars. He was a loner, a uh, very quiet, reserved gentleman, and, but he had class. Uh, he was articulate and uh, spoke excellent grammar. He didn't have to use a lot of obscenity to emphasize a point or anything. I met Robert Reed at the Clubhouse Bar in Pasadena in the mid-70s, and um, he and I, I'd seen him before, but nonetheless, we had a couple of beers together, and he asked if I were interested in um, going home with him, which at that time I, I was, and um, 
we spent a night together. Now, as the country mourns Reed, the tragic cause of his death is a poignant footnote to a career dominated by his role as Mike Brady. The picture-perfect father who taught America important life lessons like tolerance got so little in his own life. I can understand why he tried to keep a low profile, but in our community, our arms are open to help anybody, and if he would have came to us, we would have helped him 100% from our heart. It's not an easy thing to intrude on a man's privacy, either before or after his death. But Robert Reed's passing is another measure of the devastation caused in this nation by AIDS. And it seems that our government only pays attention when celebrities are involved. Geraldo? I agree, Craig. And we've made a policy on this program not to out anyone during their life, either for being gay or for having AIDS. But it seems the government's not going to deal with this crisis until it truly understands the extent of this crisis. And also, all of us have to understand the extent of homophobia, this gay hatred in this country. We have to get past both those things.